Everyone loves unlocking a trophy. Even if it's for something as simple as pushing start at the beginning of a game, there's no shame in enjoying a little free pop at a participation prize. However, it's those shiny, beautiful, elusive platinum trophies that are the best of the bunch, that even with guides at the ready and your skills as honed as they can be, they still take a drunken nightclub full of grinding to get even slightly within reach of bagging the title. Load up on the snack section, strap on your sweatbands, and get ready for some getting good. As I'm Ash from What Culture, and these are the 15 hardest platinum trophies nobody unlocked. 15. Dat Plat. Enter the Gungeon. Enter the Gungeon relies heavily on trial and error to encourage players to keep on keeping on. Unfortunately, when going for the Platinum, that's not entirely possible. One of the biggest barriers to entry is the Lead God Trophy, which tasks you with getting five Master Rounds in a single run. The prerequisites for a master round are pretty simple. All you have to do is beat a boss at the end of a chamber without being hit. That's it. That's all. That's already impossible for mere mortals, so the idea of doing this five times in a row is a mind melter. And this is only one trophy. Throw on top of this completing the entire game using a specific gun, completing each chamber tens of times alongside others that require you to grind out specific items, and the experience is as long as it is difficult. 14. Necromaster, Crypt of the Necrodancer. What could be so difficult? Surely a game about fighting to the beat of six synth tunes wouldn't want to see its players crumble into a ball of tears, snot, and their own stink of failure and disappointment while gleefully dancing around them in efforts of a platinum? Well, you'd be wrong if you thought that. On the surface, it doesn't look all that imposing, with the majority of the challenges simply requiring you to complete the game with certain characters. But when those characters die in one hit, die when they miss a beat and can't pick up any items, or, you guessed it, die just because video games, things become very frustrating very quickly. 13. Sim Racer Assetto Corsa Getting the Platinum is an exercise in mastery of both behind-the-wheel responsiveness and under-the-hood know-how. The hot laps are particularly difficult to get the hang of, however, it's in the special events where most sane trophy hunter people give up entirely. They're pretty much just even more frustrating versions of the regular events, with time attacks in particular being notorious for causing those seconds away failures. Sadly, the main problem comes from the most difficult events you need to ace being virtually impossible with a regular gamepad, and requiring a wheel to not set you at an immediate disadvantage. 12. Platinum Trophy Star Wars Battlefront Whilst most of the challenges are relatively straightforward in Battlefront, it all comes down to whether or not you have the patience to play through Battlefront's tedious online offering to reach max rank and win an arbitrary amount of games over the title's different modes and maps. But even then, the offline portion doesn't fare any better as you're forced to work your way through the game's survival and battle modes on the hardest difficulty in order to pop the platinum. Unfortunately, more often than not, the hardest difficulty level turns these maps into cheap, instant kill death zones, where being caught out in the open will get you immediately gunned down. A few glitchy camping spots will make this exercise in tedium a little more tolerable, but it won't make for a fun time. 11. I am bread. I am bread. I know you shouldn't get annoyed at comedy games that are designed to be as frustrating as possible, but I Am Bread just makes it so easy. The aim of the game is to get your slice of bread to the toaster without picking up any of the various substances and objects along the way that might reduce your edible meter. It sounds pretty easy in theory until you realize the game uses the same control scheme and physics engine as Bossa Studios' other comedy title, Surgeon Simulator. Likewise, the levels themselves are designed to be as obtuse as possible, and because you're going to need to complete these stages almost perfectly to get the best rank possible in order to pop that platinum trophy, you better hope you have a set of friends on hand to at least laugh at your countless inevitable mistakes along the way. Something to ease the pain at the very least. 10. Bloodborne The likelihood that you'll make it to see Bloodborne's Platinum Trophy depends almost entirely on how many of the game's randomly generated chalice dungeons you can stomach to sit through. A rather contentious feature when the game first released, these bonus missions can provide some of the game's toughest challenges, and of course, the most frustrating bosses. My one true achievement in life is defeating the Cleric Beast, so don't at me. Yeah, I'm tough, 
Popping this platinum might have been less of a chore if these dungeons were tied more closely to the bulk of the main game. But because they're entirely self-contained and home to little meaningful loot, then the only reason to slog through these tests is for that trophy. Rach will think you're really cool too though, so there is that. 9. Pure Evil – The Evil Within At first, getting a platinum trophy on the Evil Within doesn't seem like that difficult of a challenge. Sure, you've got your classic treasure hunts and time trials, but nothing that seems too crazy. That is, until you realise just how infuriating and unforgiving the game's hardest difficulty level, Akumu Mode, actually is. Not only does everything in the game now kill you in one hit, but entire levels have been remixed to make the playthrough that bit more unpredictable. Whatever knowledge you gained in previous playthroughs is rendered completely useless in the face of this new challenge. You're in for plenty of broken controllers if you're stupid enough to brave the hazardous road to the Evil Within's Platinum. 8. Ascension – Titan Souls Although it wasn't quite what everyone was expecting, Titan Souls lived up to the Dark Souls inspiration by being one of the most difficult and challenging games you can get on your PS4. Unfortunately for trophy and glory hunters, developers at Devolver Digital opted to translate this sense of challenge over to the game's trophy list, where the same amount of skill and patience is required to unlock even the most common of achievements. God damn it, Devolver! God damn it! As a result, even though the game is already difficult, Titan Souls' trophy list requires you to pretty much know every single trick in the book if you want to stand even a chance of getting that platinum. Boy. A 20-minute speedrun in particular makes for one of the game's biggest challenges, while another that has you completing the game on hard mode without dying once only adds rude insult to the grievous injury. 7. Trophy Hunter – Shadow Warrior Shadow Warrior was one of the best games of 2013 that just about nobody played, absolutely nailing the sense of fast-paced, next-gen, demon-killing mayhem before Doom did the same thing in 2016. This underrated reboot threw away most of the conventions that define modern first-person shooters, opting instead to take influence from its twitchy, score-based arcade roots. With no checkpoints or save system on the hardest difficulty, the already hard game is rendered virtually impossible on heroic mode, where enemies hit harder, have more health, and want nothing more than to surround you and tear you apart. And when one dumb mistake can send you right back to the start of the level, you'd better hope you've got what it takes to blow through these enemies as quickly as possible. 6. Platinum Trophy Gods Among Us Injustice Gods Among Us developer NetherRealm Studios has always demanded the most out of its players when it comes to trophies. Hell, their reboot of Mortal Kombat in 2011 required you to play with each character for 24 hours if you wanted to even be in with a shot of seeing the platinum. Injustice trades in intense grinds for a much more infuriating test of your metal. One challenge in particular is a complete controller-throwing nightmare, requiring you to defeat every character in the game, in a row, using only one life. Far. While the fights aren't on the highest difficulty, they'll feel like it once you're taking on Superman with only a quarter of a health left. 5. There is nothing more to teach. Surgeon Simulator Surgeon Simulator is practically designed to frustrate. Similar to all physics-bending indie games like it, the humour the cult hit provides comes from just how much accidental anarchy you end up creating inside the game's increasingly ridiculous levels. That's not to say there's no reward in being good at the game, as the most skilled players can even pull off the most precise of surgeries without making too many errors. Unfortunately though, if you're wanting to be one of the players to grab the platinum for Surgeon Simulator, you better hope you're also one of those skilled few. You could dedicate the time to getting the Platinum Trophy for Surgeon Simulator, but you'd probably have an easier run spending six years in medical school to perform the surgeries in real life under less stressful conditions. 4. Platinum Plus Plus N++ Even before it comes to grinding through trophies, N++ is an already challenging game. Testing your metal over hundreds of levels designed to catch you out at every available opportunity, just getting through some of the harder stages in this puzzle platformer can prove to be a Herculean challenge in and of itself. But then the hunt for the game's platinum trophy somehow manages to turn this frustration up to 11. Whilst there's nothing in particular that stands out in the trophy list with the same kind of no death rules and gold star requirements that you'd see in many games like it, it's just the sheer volume of content you're going to have to get through that becomes daunting the more you play. 3. Devils Never Cry Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition It's an already difficult ordeal to even think about the platinum on this little guy, but adding the requirements for the game's bloody palace mode completely blows all of that 
out of the water. To get this trophy, you have to endure every stage in the bloody optional Bloody Palace with all bloody five playable characters. Whilst that sounds fine on paper, bear in mind in these stages there's no bloody way to save. You can't use any bloody additional items and you can't select the bloody levels themselves individually. Bloody Palace. Oh, and did I mention there are 101 of them? So if you're wanting this platinum, you're going to have to be prepared to not only work up the skill to get through the whole bloody palace ordeal, but do it five times in total, each in one sitting. Yeah, I think I'll sit this one out, actually. Two, Platinum Trophy, The Elder Scrolls Online. The Elder Scrolls Online's trophy list is a total sham and a fraud. Well, not exactly, but for anyone even thinking about going for that Platinum, you might be better off stopping before you even start, because this is one of the cheapest trophy lists ever to grace the PS4. Whilst most of the achievements require the already ridiculous grind you'd expect from an MMO, one in particular is practically an insult to all but the 0.01% of players. In order to get 100% of the game's trophies, you have to truly be the best at the game. That's not being hyperbolic either, you literally have to be the top of the in-game PvP leaderboard to pop this most difficult of trophies. Unless you plan on putting in the time to beat out anyone else who owns a copy of their game and climb to the top of your faction's leaderboard, you're out of luck if you are wanting another platinum to proudly display on your PSN shelf. A nice screw you from Bethesda. 1. Super Meat Boy Super Meat Boy Super Meat Boy is a game that prides itself on being one of the hardest platformers you'll ever play. While it starts off simple enough, the amount of skill, luck and pure persistence it takes to get through a level on perfect run without dying is truly incredible. So when you find out that the game requires you to get through 20 of them in a row without dying a single time in order to achieve one trophy in particular, you can imagine why even the most dedicated trophy hunters throw in the dream of popping this platinum. Unfortunately, the rest of the trophies are just as infuriating, requiring you to get the best possible score on every level and tediously search for every single secret in the game's labyrinthine maps. Already a difficult game to merely complete, if you're wanting to go the extra mile for this revered platinum, you better be willing to dedicate a few months to becoming the best damn SMB player the world has ever seen.